Bringing a whole new world of knowledge to fresh new eyes has to be one of the great gifts one can give. And this is at the heart of the National Zoological Gardens of South Africa's Centre for Conservation Science. As a national research facility, internationally competitive research is conducted, facilitated and coordinated with the emphasis on biodiversity conservation. A core component is the emerging discipline of conservation medicine. Here, the veterinarians and researchers of the centre work at the interface of human, animal and ecosystem health. Activities range from wildlife capture and relocation through veterinary preventative medicine to wildlife epidemiology. Necropsies on a wide range of wild species provide valuable epidemiological data on emerging and zoonotic diseases. Research includes avian influenza and tuberculosis studies. From projects linking innovative research to the development of molecular diagnostics for parasites to the study and treatment of wildlife diseases, through to disease investigations and surveillances, the center provides world-class expertise for Africa. The National Zoo's Center for Conservation Science resides under the auspices of the National Research Foundation. Its funding is received through the NRF from the Department of Science and Technology. Particular emphasis is placed on the creation of knowledge and the enhancement of the public's understanding of the conservation of Africa's biodiversity. Researching the needs of the public within the zoo environment is also a key focus. Here, visitor experience, guest relations and the impact of the conservation message provide a platform that facilitates change in human attitudes and behavior. Conservation biology is another core research discipline of the center. Creating habitat features that are as close as possible to the animal's natural environment is a focus. Another aspect is the development of novel scientific tools for biodiversity monitoring and modeling. These include indicators for stress, mortality, welfare, and low reproductive success of animals. Here, factors such as providing optimal nutrition for all animals in the zoo, for example, suitable indigenous browse, are researched and applied, an example of work at the ex situ, in situ interface. Studies on behavior, progressive learning, and adaptation in the ex situ, in situ context are also undertaken. The more we know about an animal, the more we can accurately and scientifically assess its needs, both at the individual level and in populations. This has the ultimate aim of benefiting the entire ecosystem. The management and maintenance of sustainable populations with a particular focus on threatened and endangered species is core to research conducted at the center. Here, research programs that benefit biodiversity and ecosystems contribute to breeding programs of over 50 such species and benefits biodiversity and hence conservation as a whole. Research does not only involve mammal populations. Fish, reptiles, insects and plants, all natural biodiversity, fall within the center's capabilities reflected in the many research projects. Studies in conservation genetics across a broad spectrum of species assure genetic diversity, the prevention of inbreeding, and genetic integrity. As custodians of key stud books, for example on wild dog and ground hornbill populations, the center is moving towards not only managing, but guiding, enhancing, and increasing regional and global participation in animal collection planning. The center aims to be at the forefront of wildlife nutritional science to maintain captive populations. The Center for Conservation Science has a strong focus on training and science outreach. It acts as a platform and focal point for cooperative research studies and research capacity development nationally and internationally. Partnerships with universities, government agencies, the zoo community and other organizations are key to the success of the center. And whilst the science and research provides the data, as always, it is the center's role to bring that information into context, not just for the scientists, but to educate and inspire learners, the families, and society as a whole, now and into the future. Yeah. 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 Yeah.